Hey guys, it's Sammy, and welcome back to another episode of Twilight Princess. Where we left off, we got a little sneak peek of the Forest Temple. So, let's get started! We're actually gonna start by, um... Oh, fail aiming. There we go. We're gonna kill the little spider guys. And we're gonna climb up here. I mean, you can totally ignore this. It doesn't really matter. But I don't know. When I get the compass and if I see it, I'm gonna be annoyed. Oh, here it is. I was like, is it not up here? And we got 10 rupees! Yay! Oh my gosh. Hello. No one wants you. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh, and you too. Get out of here. Give me that. Okay, so the monkey got... Got trapped again. Like, really? There we go. So let's just... Get her out. Yay, you're free! Hey, that's the monkey that stole your lantern. Doesn't it look like she's beckoning you? Aren't you the popular one? <laughs> yes, I am, ma'am. Because Link's hot. Link's a hottie. All the ladies want him. No, okay. Just checking! <laughs> Alright, so the, actually the first thing we want to do... Uh, mm, I'll kill him. Come here! Okay, I believe this is where... Oh no! Why did not... Whatever. I thought that I would have to finish, but... Looks like I was wrong. Now, um, there's a... Ooh, it kind of looks like a tree, actually, in the way. But And this little spider is actually a bomb. So we're going to go ahead and whack him, and then we're going to drop the bomb, and we're going to run, and... Hooray! I believe this is 20 rupees. Yes, but I just don't want to get it later, so we're getting it now. Alright! Now the, um, the monkey's just gonna kind of follow us around and wait until we do the right thing. and She's gonna kind of be our guide through this first temple. There we go. That's why I wanted to get that first before those stairs popped up and got in our way. Because we can't blow out the torches. Take a guess. It's the map! <laughs> In the second room, nonetheless. And, uh... We'll have to get that later. Okay, let's follow her. So, there's actually parts of this temple that are outside, which I think is really cool. It's not just secluded and... Oh. We have company! That was rude. Don't show me your butt. No one wants to see that. Oh, what's going on? Has there been a monkey fight? Oh no, now we can't go any farther. We might as well go back. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like she wants to take you somewhere, so maybe you should just follow her. Will do! So yeah, this is um a dead end, so we'll have to come back later. Or find another way around. So now, she'll actually turn this way, and she'll hop along, and she's like, Don't worry, I'll catch you! And you're like, sure! And you just trust her, and she just throws you across. Which is nice, so that's actually going to be kind of like a main point of how we get around. Now we're going to want to go to this dead end first, and just hit him. And run! Don't get hit by the bomb! There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> there we go. Oh, boy. Phew, out at last. Gracious, once I got in there, I couldn't squeeze back out. You were a big help, thanks. 
I've been looking for something in here, you see. Gracious, yes. You must need something here, too. Shall we try working together for a while, fellow adventurer? I can even warp you out of here if you want to leave. You'll be able to come back to the same room anytime you want. I can be quite helpful, see? So don't think of me as a burden. Now let's get started. Yes, we get Uku and Oi. And I feel like in the original, like, she didn't have that on her back. That design of that, like, looks like boobies. I think it's supposed to be, like, feathers? Otherwise, she's got a total of, like, eight boobs going down. But she's, she's... She's interesting. I did have to use her uh, one time though, and it's actually really cool. So as soon as you go through a room, and then if you're to use her, then you would wind up back at that door. You won't like, so if I were to use it in the middle of this room, she won't warp me back to the middle of the room. She'll warp me to the door from where I entered. So, no, I don't care. Now, she's going to try to get us to go over there, but we actually want to come through this door first, I believe. Yeah, she won't follow us, which is... That's fine. She doesn't have to follow us. And now something to note while uh, the dungeon outside is that with the wind, <clears throat> these bridges can basically change the way that you can go across them. So that's something to definitely keep in mind. Now, we can't do anything in this room, and I don't know why it was designed this way, but you open up this, and then you get a key. So we need to pick this up before... Continuing to follow her. We'll have to come back later because we can't do anything else in here. So Carry on Roll. Oh there she is she's waiting. She's like where the hell have you been? <laughs> now you don't actually have to fight this guy. You just gotta shoot him and get him down and he falls in the water and you know dies which is great now one other thing we want to do is jump <laughs> did she just jump in the water after me that's so funny uh this little secret entrance underneath the tree roots is another chest and this actually contains our first stamp so this is what's um cool about uh i like collecting these like in the wii u version is you get these stamps and they're kind of like in oh Oh, it, it pulled me into that automatically. Lovely. But yeah. I do like it. So kind of like some of the more annoying chests. And I'll mention another one later. Um, that you go back for and you're like, that wasn't worth it. It actually kind of holds stamps. So if you're like, I really want to use these. And I don't know. I think it's kind of cool. I like it. It's kind of like another collectible to me. So it's... Rather than, like, going through and getting a really obnoxious chest and instead of getting, like, you've got 20 rupees, then you get another collectible, which is awesome. And then down there, we want to remember that for later. <laughs> I know, all these things that we're passing by and we're like, oh, we can't do anything with that yet. Just carry on. Just keep going till you figure out something else. And now this poor monkey is stuck in a cage. Oh, no. Oh, she's like, my friend! Okay, so we have to help them. We're Link. We're nice. We have to help everybody. Oh, no. The bridge broke. We can't go back. Um, now, before I save your friend, um, I'd actually like to... Ooh, where is it? Is it right here? It is! I went around it, like always. There we go. And we get 10 rupees in this chest right here, so... Okay. Oh, excuse me. I missed! <laughs> you want to roll into this, and then it shows you and interrupts you when you really need to roll into it twice to knock off the cage. He's like, ow, my butt. That hurt. But I saved him, so... No big deal. Now we have company, but it's not like these guys are threatening. If we still had our branch sword, then probably, but... These guys are easy peasy. Oh, and they're all clapping for me. That's so cute. Okay. Now we actually want to follow these two because they're actually going to be our key for getting out of this room because that bridge broke. Swing, monkey, swing! There we go. So, leap! Leap! So that's kind of cool. So you, if you can kind of see the concept already. 
it's gonna be used a few more times. And we're actually gonna want to go back to the main room. I consider it the main room, um, where the three doors were and then the exit. Right in here. Now the one monkey will swing us back across. I mean, you don't really have to, you can go up the stairs. And then the second monkey will actually swing across this way. So you do have to do this temple in a specific order. Like you can't go out of order and you can't just like explore all around. I feel like this is kind of more, which I think is good. It kind of gets you used to like the temples in this game, how they work and whatnot. Like you kind of have like a guide, which is cool. I hate these things. As soon as you cut them off, they're still alive and mm, gross, you nasty. Anyways, let's get out of here and, oh, and this thing, you do not want to jump because that dude's right there and he will eat you. He will just, oh no, oh my gosh, I targeted onto him and I thought I was going to walk right into it after I just said, don't do it. So he'll jump up and uh, eat anything that goes over it. So we're going to throw that bomb and he's going to implode. Pop a smoke. There we go. Now, well, yes. So we're gonna want to do that one more time. Excuse you. You damn spider. Come on. Come on, we have to hurry. Jump! Throw! <laughs> Run! <laughs> I think I got hit. Oh, I didn't. Nice. Um, I believe I want to go here. Oh, I did hit it. I was like... Damn it, I missed. I missed. Okay, let's jump. Oh yeah, and if you don't continuously hold up when he's hanging on with one arm, you'll fall. I learned the hard way. Yeah, I believe I want to go in here first. Yes. Yes, I did. Perfect. All these people are just locking these monkeys up. How rude. We needed that. Why did you eat it? Why did you wait for me to get here for you to eat it? Little bastard. You little poop. No, you, you have a big head, sir. Get out of the way. Nope. Is he ever gonna die? I swear, he used to like never take this many hits. Oh. oh my gosh, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, finally. Oh my gosh, why did that take so long? Okay, so now it actually looks like um, the gross thing, like before. And so that's what these little spiders are for. Come here. We're gonna throw it in there. Watch the really disgusting death animation of this poor plant. <laughs> Yay! We got the key. Is this like, I think this is one of the only keys that you see outside of um, a chest. So that's kind of cool. Uh, there we go. Making sure I'm going the right way. Now we want to save the monkey. Be free! Oh, he's so happy. Look how happy he is. <laughs> That's so cute. Okay, let's go. Mm. We are out of here. And we're gonna wanna go back through here. There we go, I could just jump over. Awesome. I don't think you want to come with me, monkey. I don't think I'm going where you want to go. Oh, I am? All right. Now there's a monkey stuck up there. Oh, no. <laughs> Poor monkey. Okay. Um, and this is actually somewhere where we're going to, to remember to come back. Excuse me. I need to roll into this. 
We actually need to grab this chest, and I believe that this contains- Oh! <laughs> there we go. We got the small key. So we can free that other monkey. Oh, don't- Well... <sighs> Damn it. What am I doing? I'm not paying attention. Now be careful, like, those little guys that are popping up, you don't want to step on the- That's why I fell into the water, because I was- being careful, but obviously not careful enough. You don't want to step on those tiles, or those guys will shoot up and fling you off, and it's rather rude. Now, if you can see in that cutscene, there's a treasure chest in there. So that's why. We need to remember to come back here. Let's put that away. Oh my god! What? I didn't even know I could come up here! <laughs> okay, well. I don't think there's anything for me up here. Oh, there is! That's hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we got 20 rupees. <laughs> Uh, thank you. I mean... No, please stop targeting things. Let's just go. I can't believe that. That was great. Okay, now let's see if I can actually do this right. Because what I was trying to show is that this is where we can use our finish. And then if you push A at the right time, Link fancily puts away his sword. It's pretty awesome. Remember when I first found that out, I tried to do it, like, every time after I killed an enemy. Because if you do it just right, he'll, you know, do the, the show-off thingy, which is great. Okay, so we're... Do, oh, my God. Okay. Just, just be careful. Okay. Okay, we made it out. Okay. Five rupees! All right. We're gonna... Carry on. Oh, and if you noticed, um, when I had to do some rearranging of videos, and if, like, your comment is, like, now gone, uh, I'm a 19-year-old who has no idea, uh, how the fuck to work technology, and I was just dealing with a lot of stuff, and on Google for hours, and figuring out things, and I, ugh, it was, it was a nightmare, so I'm really sorry, um, yeah, it was a headache. So if like you're like, what the hell? Like you put like four videos in one day? It's because I was re-uploading everything back. Oh no no no! I don't want this one. <laughs> I was trying to think. I was like, what am I doing? Okay, we need to actually come back over here. Grab on. Because if you're to take um, I want to make sure that guy doesn't come after me. Now, if you were to take. Uh, that little spider and try to run around and throw it down the oh you you know you could see it if Link would cooperate. Oh, I'm trying to explain right down there. Do you see that area? You wouldn't make it so there's actually one right here that you have to do it okay, Come here. Come here. The monkeys run away. They're like oh shit We throw it down and there's a treasure chest right there. We need that. Die, Mr. Plant. I wouldn't have to kill you if you wouldn't eat me. Alright. And we get our first heart piece of the dungeon. Yes, we get heart pieces in dungeons. Now, I believe that this is why um, they made it five heart pieces for each container so that they could put two heart pieces in every dungeon. I think this is why people didn't really like it. I actually do like it a lot because I know, okay, I know that I have to get two heart pieces in this dungeon and if you're kind of playing for the first time and if you're getting hit a lot, it's a quick boost to refill all of your health. I don't know. I just appreciated it. Like in Majora's Mask, how there's four temples and the rest of the side quests. Okay, so now all these monkeys are real excited. We have saved four of them, which is exactly enough. So we're actually going to head straight back through that first room where we tried to go in the beginning. Let's go. Apparently we have enough monkeys to do so. And I think you all already know where this is going. We're going to hop along with all the monkeys. So they're making a way for us to get over. There we go. Look at that. Hooray. Jump. Jump. Alright. Let's go. 
do I hit the stairs? Oh, I don't. Some temples you do when you roll and you hit the stairs and you're just like, fuck. I do that all the time. All right. There's that red butt monkey. Ooh. Don't throw that at me. It looks dangerous. That's the first thing he does. I hate those things. They're so nasty. Okay, well, we're gonna take care of these guys first. There we go. Now, um, he'll jump around and then he'll throw the boomerang and you're gonna not a want- Ooh, I can't even- English. He's gonna throw- he's gonna stop on one, throw the boomerang, you're gonna wanna throw him off balance, and then the boomerang will come back and hit him, and then you're going to attack! Hit his butt! That's what he gets for showing off. You don't show me your butt! It's called consent. Oh, he was going to throw it, I think. Where are you? What is he doing? I've never seen him, like, dance around like that. What a weird monkey. Okay, there we go. Get him! Lee, get him! <laughs> there we go. So that wasn't too hard. And it turns out that, like, some evil bug was... Messing with his mind and made him all evil and whatnot. <laughs> He's kind of derpy. <laughs> oh, see, he wasn't bad. It was just that the bug, right? <laughs> Look at that. I am the fairy of winds who resides in this boomerang. You have freed me from evil, and I now have my true power back. Please, take it with you. Use it to aid your quest, and may both my power and my blessing go with you. If you focus power in your boomerang before releasing it, it will unleash the power of wind, aiding you in unforeseen ways. Awesome! So it's not just a boomerang, it's a wind boomerang! So it will bring stuff to us while also acting as something else as well, which is pretty cool. So I'm gonna- oh, Minute's gonna talk to me. <laughs> I bet even the monkey should be satisfied now. Okay, let's continue combing this place. We already found something good, so let's keep searching places we haven't looked yet. You got it. I'm gonna go ahead and equip that first and foremost because it, we actually need to use it to get out of here. You know, like a crash course. So I'm gonna go ahead and target onto that. You can actually target onto five things at once. If you ever played Wind Waker, then you know that the boomerang can target onto five things. There we go. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so yeah, of course, they're gonna give you a little crash course on how to use the item first. There we go. Okay, so now, now I'm thinking. Yep, we're gonna, oh, well, you know, I would go back, but the monkeys left. <laughs> they're like, screw it, you can't beat them, you're trapped. <laughs> Okay, so I'm actually going to wait because the wind's going to blow really, really recently. And since they're off the two bridges, if you can see them, they're off. There we go. We're going to actually use this boomerang to spin this one back around to the direction that we want. There we go. So now we can get across. Okay, let's just kill this guy out of And then you can use the boomerang to knock down that and free this monkey. So there are even more monkeys. Unless this was the same one, but it's not. Um, there are even more monkeys that are trapped in this temple. Sad. So we freed them. Well, I guess there are still some monkeys you haven't freed yet. At this point, you should just save them all and see what you can get for it. Okay! Or, you know, to be nice. Is the wind gonna... I was fucking rude. Jeez. Getting so rude in this game. Did you already spin? 
Whatever. Whatever. Just turn, please. There we go. Now this should bring us back to that um, center-ish room. Yeah. This brings us back here, which is perfect because we wanted to go back to this room. Pop up. There we go. Open this. Oh yeah, and now with the uh, Gale Bermoring, we can kill these guys, so let's go ahead and if you use it, you can actually, it'll target onto them, they're on the floor. So you pull them out of the ground and then you just, you kill them! Like, no! That's what you get. And it pulls up all the tiles with it. Oh, I think he, sorry! There we go. Oh, he's dead. Oh, perfect. <laughs> I was just about to explain that, but um, yeah. So the uh, boomerang can actually take out the torches that um, that basically trigger the steps to come up. I'm sorry, he fell in the water. Every single one that I've tried to fight just falls in the water. Except for you. You went back in there. But yes, so we needed this to take that out to pull down this very top one to get this treasure chest. And this gives us a, the second piece of heart. So we don't have to worry about pieces of heart in this temple anymore, which is great. Oh, I could have gone up there. Wow, that's, that's hilarious. I guess I just haven't done it in so long that I totally just forgot about it. Excuse me. There we go. Now what we're going to want to do is head back to the first room. We've got a couple more things to do before... Let's just hop down here. There we go. Oh my gosh! I hit the pole! Just go in here. This is the main room. And then these monkeys are just staying here to give you easy access. And if you didn't get that treasure chest at first, and um, you can now use the boomerang to blow out the torches. To get that now, if you're like, I must get 100%. <sighs> what the heck? I think you actually have to hit the... Uh, that. There we go. Oh no! <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> I accidentally... Shoot. Oh well. What do you do? Thingy. There we go. So yeah, that's where we got the map, was that treasure chest right here. And this... Holds the compass! Hooray! I love how the compass looks in this game, by the way. If I had a compass like that, that'd be sitting on my desk all nice and pretty. That is a beautiful compass. Oh. Well, if it isn't something useful. As long as you have that, you should be able to find where the captured monkeys are, right? That's true, so that should help. We're actually going to want to go back this away. Let's open up the door and head around here. And this will kind of be the first instance where we have to target on too many things with the boomerang. Now, we're going to want to go in there, but before you forget, we want to come to the end of this room because we see a very special chest. So the pattern on the ground right there is your hint. So let's go ahead and target these in the proper order. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's go. Let me open this up. And we get the big key. Use it to gain access to the lair of the dungeon's boss. Hooray! Okay, so I feel like we did a lot this episode. We got through quite a bit of the temple already and we already have the boss key and the dungeon item and both heart pieces. So in the next episode, we'll continue on, save a few more monkeys and hopefully get to the boss. See you guys then.